So I spoke a lot about um, thrombocytopenia. That's like platelets are low in the body. So when platelets are low in the body, you have a lot of problems with what? Clotting. Now, so many other things could cause uh, problems with clotting, which will now lead to what? You bleeding too much. All right. Uh, but particularly the platelets number, if it is low, you know. You have other things like blood clotting factor deficiencies, problems with the blood vessels and all of that, you know. So, PETK is one of the problems or one of the signs you see in a person that has what problems with their bleeding, uh, problems with their blood clotting system. So this person basically has these patches on the body because what? The blood vessels are bleeding into the skin, you know. So particularly, we said that there are tiny, there are pinpointed size spots of bleeding under the skin or mucous membranes. So they appear as red, purple, brown dots. So they do not fade away when you press it, right? So unlike a rash, right? Particularly result from broken capillaries. So they are leaking into the skin, right? Let's move. What are the causes? Several things, right? So several things will cause your blood vessels to bleed, not only clotting problems. Sometimes infections like bacterial viral infections like endocarditis, meningosamia, uh, meningococcemia, right? Rocky Mountain spotted fever, sometimes blood disorders mainly, right? Leukemia, low platelet levels as thrombocytopenia. Sometimes it could be side effects on drugs that you took. Maybe drugs that are against clotting. So you are now what prone to bleed more. Antibiotics, chemotherapy agents can trigger PTK. So um, straining or trauma, right? So intense coughing, vomiting, childbirth, heavy lifting can cause capillaries to trust to burst. Sorry. There's sometimes deficiencies on vitamins that are key. Vitamin C, vitamin K, and all of that. So treatment and management is um, always address the underlying cause. So treat the root thing that is causing it, you know. Medical evaluation, so if they appear suddenly, you seek medical attention. Avoid blood thinning medications. That's if it is drug induced, you know. The supportive care like you rest, you hydrate, balanced diet can all help with the recovery.